Hey there, I'm Raja and welcome to another Java tutorial. So in this video we're gonna learn about increment and decrement operators in Java. So let's get started. Now whenever we create a variable in Java, suppose I'm creating an integer variable and putting a value 5 inside it. Now there may be a lot of instances where I want to increase the value by 1. As an example, suppose I want to increase the value of a by 1. So what I do is I write a equals a plus 1. So what this does is uh, this just increments the value of a by 1 and then assigns that value into a again. For example, suppose the value of a is 5. So when evaluating the right side, we get 5 plus 1 that is 6 and we put the value 6 into a so now the value of a becomes 6 so this is how we do it now we can do uh, we can do something else uh, suppose we can increment I mean decrement the value too suppose I have another variable b and I have a value 5 here and I want to decrement the value of b by 1 so what I do is I write b equals b minus 1 so what happens is the same thing happens the value of b is 5 it is decremented by 1 so it becomes 4 and the 4 the value 4 is assigned to b again so the value of b becomes 4 now now we don't want to write these things again and again there's a simpler way to do this and that is where uh, that is what called an increment and decrement operator so instead of writing a equals a plus 1 instead of that what we can do is we can go and write I'm sorry we can go and write a plus plus and that's it so what this a plus plus does is this is called the increment operator this plus plus operator so what this does is this does all the job that this whole code does so this is basically incrementing the value of a by one and then assigning that value to a again so instead of writing this whole statement, I can just write a plus plus and it will be equivalent to this. The same way we can also write decrement operator. So instead of writing this thing, what I can do is I can go ahead and write b minus minus and this will do the same job. So let's go and print the value so that you guys can understand that if I'm lying or not. <laughs> so let's go and print system out. Uh, it's freezing. I don't know why my compiler freezing. Um, ID freezing. Uh, it's not responding. Please wait for a bit. Uh, shit. Come on, come on. Yeah. So I'm gonna write print ln and inside that I want to pass the value one, uh, the value a. So what happens is first of all let me print the value of a before this okay so what this will do is first time this will print the value of a before incrementing and then it will print the value of a after incrementing so let's go and run it come on I don't know why is it taking so much time today so as you can see here uh, the first time when I print the value of a because the value is 5 the value 5 is printed here next time whenever I print a after incrementing it the value becomes 6 so the value become uh, that's got incremented so this is basically what increment and decrement operator so now the, uh, the last time I want to talk about one more thing that's pre increment and post increment operator now we can put this plus plus after after a as well as before a so both of these uh, just increments the value of a but in a different way so let's go and take a look at that so whenever I put plus plus before a then what happens is it again is phrasing I don't know why so if I put plus plus before a so what happens is the value of a gets incremented before performing any other operation okay so whenever I do this the value of a gets incremented before performing any other operation but when I put the value plus plus after a so what happens is first of all it performs any other operation in that line and on the next line it increments the value of a so let's take an example suppose I write 
system.out.println and inside that I write a++. Okay, so what will happen is the value, as I've said, if I write the value plus plus after a, what happen is, first of all, it will do the uh, operation, that is, it will print the value, and after the execution of this line, it will increment the value. So inside, uh, in the print, whenever the value gets printed, we will not get the incremented value of a, we will get the original value of a. Okay, so let's go and run it. Uh, and if I run it, uh, you guys can see yes you guys can see that first of all the value is 5 and then again after I do a plus plus the value is 5 again since I have told you that this first of all does the operation and then increments it so in the next line the value of a becomes 5 but when I do plus plus a what happens is whenever I do plus plus a it just increments the value at once before performing any operation so we'll get 5 here and we'll get 6 in this line so let's go and run it as you can see it gets 5 and 6 so this is basically the basics of uh, increment and decrement operators in Java I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please hit the like button uh, if you enjoyed this really video and uh, hopefully you guys will subscribe to me and Thank you very, very much for watching. Thanks.